Welcome to Liturgy of the Hours with Deacon Kevin. We gather this evening for Vespers, our evening prayer, for December 18th. It's Friday in the third week of Advent. It's also the third week of the Psalter. So our evening prayer and all of it, including the hymn and the prayers, begin on page 1024 of the first volume of the four-volume set. So let us begin. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. When, in his image, God created man, he included freedom in creation's plan. For he loved us even from before our birth. By his grace he made us free men of this earth. God to man entrusted life as gift and aim. Sin became our prison, turning hope to shame. Man against his brother lifted hand and sword, and the Father's pleading went unseen, unheard. Then in time our Maker chose to intervene, set his love in, in love, his love in person in the human scene. Jesus broke the circle of repeated sin so that man's devotion newly might begin. Choose we now in freedom where we should belong. Let us turn to Jesus. Let our choice be strong. May the great obedience which in Christ we see perfect all our service. Then we shall be free. Our King will come from Zion. The Lord God is with us, is his mighty name. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise him, servants of the Lord, who stand in the house of the Lord in the courts of the house of our God. Praise the Lord, for the Lord is good. Sing a psalm to his name, for he is loving. For the Lord has chosen Jacob for himself, and Israel for his own possession. For I know that the Lord is great that our Lord is high above all gods. The Lord does whatever he wills in heaven, on earth, in the seas. He summons clouds from the ends of the earth, makes, makes lightning produce rain. From its, his treasuries he sends forth the wind. The firstborn of the Egyptians he smote, of man and beast alike. Signs and wonders he worked in the midst of your land, O Egypt, against Pharaoh and all his servants. Nations in their greatness he struck, and kings in their splendor he slew. Sion, king of the Amorites, Og, the king of Bashan, and all the kingdoms of Canaan. He let Israel inherit their land. On his people their land he bestowed. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Our king will come from Zion. The Lord God is with us, is his mighty name. Wait for the Lord, and he will come to you with his saving power. Lord, your name stands forever, unforgotten from age to age. For the Lord does justice to his people, and the Lord takes pity on his servants. Pagan idols are silver and gold, the work of human hands. They have mouths, but they cannot speak. They have eyes, but they cannot see. They have ears, but they cannot hear. There is never a breath on their lips. Their makers will come to be like them, and so will all who trust in them. Sons of Israel, bless the Lord. Sons of Aaron, bless the Lord. Sons of Levi, bless the Lord. You who fear him, bless the Lord. For Zion may be the Lord, be, be blessed, who, he who dwells in Jerusalem. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Father, your name and your memory last forever. We stand to pray and praise you with psalms of joy. We ask you, in your kindness, to have mercy on us in our lowliness. Wait for the Lord, and he will come to you with his saving power. Eagerly I watch for the Lord. I wait in joyful hope for the coming of God my Savior. 
Mighty and wonderful are your works, Lord God Almighty. Righteous and true are your ways, O King of the nations. Who would dare refuse you honor or the glory due your name, O Lord? Since you alone are holy, all nations shall come and worship in your presence. Your mighty deeds are clearly seen. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Eagerly I watch for the Lord. I wait in joyful hope for the coming of God, my Savior. A reading from Philippians chapter 4. Rejoice in the Lord always. I say it again. Rejoice. Everyone should see how unselfish you are. The Lord is near. Lord, show us your mercy and love. Lord, show us your mercy and love. And grant us your salvation, your mercy and love. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Lord, show us your mercy and love. O sacred Lord of ancient Israel, who showed yourself to Moses in the burning bush, who gave him the holy law on Sinai mountain, come, stretch out your mighty hand to set us free. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my Savior, for he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day, all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hunger with good things and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel for he has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. O sacred Lord of ancient Israel, who showed yourself to Moses in the burning bush, who gave him the holy law on Sinai mountain, come, stretch out your mighty hand to see, to set us free. To Christ the Lord, who was born of the Virgin Mary, let us pray with joyful hearts. Come, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus, in the mystery of your incarnation, you revealed your glory to the world. Give us new life by your coming. Come, Lord Jesus. You have taken our weakness upon yourself. Grant us your mercy. Come, Lord Jesus. You redeemed the world from sin by your first coming in humility. Free us from all guilt when you come again in glory. Come, Lord Jesus. You live and rule over all. In your goodness, bring us to our eternal inheritance. Come, Lord Jesus. You sit at the right hand of the Father. Gladden the souls of the dead with your light. Come, Lord Jesus. In the words our Savior gave us, let us pray. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. We Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that we who are weighed down by the old by slavery beneath the yoke of sin, may be set free by the newness of the long-awaited nativity of your only begotten Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God.